Hey brothers and sisters in Christ, I wanted to do a quick video because as you can see, I keep getting people that come up here and they keep saying the Greek letters and apostles, the Savior, they keep going to the Greek and one of the things they'll do is in the original, if I can make this bigger, they'll say in the original it said, instead of having a J for Jesus, where there's the E says, right there. It's I-E-S-U-S because it's Isis. But I went back to the original 1611, the originals, the originals. And here's what it is. Um, when Jesus was born, and you see there the emblem, they're trying to say that's an I. But when you go to the Gothic font, you'll see it's got one, two, three, four, if you want to say hashes to the left and it's open. Okay. The I has one, two, three. Not four, but three. And it's open. Like it comes out and it's open. So you go back here and you look at the J's. There's a J over here that they're using if you follow the pointer. Um, it's supposed to be an I. Because this it simply says, out of Egypt have I called my home, my son, it says home, son, and they misspelled son. So um, when they try to say his name shouldn't be Jesus, I just don't get why they attack Jesus, the name of Jesus, okay? Every, it looks like they use a J all the time in the 1611. It's always a J, capital J. Um, and anytime it's a lowercase j, it's always preceded by an i. So you have an ij, ij, ij. It's the only time j is even in the 1611 is because it's an ij, ij. But when you look at the capital, they're using a j for Jesus. They're using a j here for Jews. There's j's for Judah right here. And then there's a j like I said, I think it was a spelling error because all they seemed to use was the J. Um, have J called my son. Out of Egypt have J called my son. And when you look at that, you're like, well, it's an I. And they could see that because the J and the I are very similar. Here, once again, you have the J. Four. I. One, two, three. And there's an open spot. J. No open spot whatsoever. And you go to here, they try to say, well, there's a little bit of an open spot, but there's four spots over here, four dashes. Four dashes. This is the same, same emblem as that one. Okay, this is called ink. Maybe the ink ran out right there. J, completely full. J, completely full. And there's other times where it says Jesus with the J where it's completely full. They use J, like right there, there's a J-N. But you know that there's no J-N in English, so it has to be an I-N, N. So, why are people so against the name Jesus? So, don't let people fight you on this. It's trying to say, well, it really shouldn't have been Jesus. It should have been Iosis. And then they try to go into Greek, and they try to go into just junk, a dead language. Okay? It's supposed to be a J, and it's supposed to be Jesus. Okay? Um, let's sweep this, shrink this down for a second. Okay, because I wanted to quote some of these verses I put down, okay? For there is one God, one mediator between man, God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All you need is the King James Bible and the font that we're given today. They took it out of the Gothic font they used back then because there was letters that looked similar. And it was very hard to distinguish between the two letters. Now, Satan, I believe, is using that to discredit the Bible, to mess up the Bible, to take away from the name Jesus. Um, sorry about that. Uh, it's going to get louder. But I'm going to wrap this up. When you look in here and you look into the fonts that I was looking at, I looked up T and I could not find the T font. I could not, let's see here. I could not find the T font that they were using in here. So their T right here where it says then Herod 
they have a T there. All right, that's supposed to be a T, but I couldn't find that font setting. It might be out there, but I couldn't. In the same font that this is, the T doesn't look like that. Okay. I gotta look it all up again. But the T, when I looked it up, didn't look like that T. So it was like saying taking different types of Gothic font and slamming them together. It was weird. I'm not an expert on it, but I'm saying that trying to go back to this font and trying to say, well, it's not a J, it's an I, when it's clearly a J. They use J for capital J for everything, including the capital I's. But someone who reads this would say, out of Egypt have I called my son, even though it's a font for a capital J, but it's by itself. Anytime you see that marking by itself, it's got to be an I. Because there is no word with a J by itself. Okay. So I just wanted to do this real quick and get it out there for my brothers and sisters in Christ. Don't let people try to deceive you like this. This guy has come on here a lot. And see if I can shrink it down. And this one. This guy's come on here a lot. Um, who is he? The RSL8265. He's come on every once in a while. He tries to go back to the Greek. I don't need the Greek. Neither do you. We don't need to be going back to a dead language. But then he goes back to the 1611 and he uses the fact that we used a Gothic font that had spelling errors and it had letters that looked similar so it's hard to tell the difference between the two which is why it was confusing and we redid the font when they updated the King James Bible they didn't change the words they correct the spelling and they correct the letters because they used a better font that distinguished between the letters a J looks like a J and an I looks like an I and they don't look like the same thing that's why we went to a different font so I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope this has helped a little bit. Be not deceived. The name is Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. -S. And I'll see you guys in the next video.